Okay, let's talk about inversion. What we're going to do is we're going to take this pitch set that we started with. This is the first one that we did, and where we found the normal form. So this is here it is. We already have it in a normal form. What we're going to do is we're going to invert it. When we talk about inversion in set theory, what we're talking about is inverting a pitch uh, over an axis. So think about the note C. Think about it on the keyboard. Here's the note, the note middle C. And suppose I have um, an E flat over here. If I want to invert this E flat in set theory, uh, the E flat is a minor third above the C, right? A minor third. If I want to invert the E flat, it's going to give me an A, which is going to be a minor third below the C. Um, an, an easy, way, a good way to visualize it is this clock face right here. So here's zero. Here's our C, all the way up to B. Okay. So, if we have the, our E flat right here, we want to find the inversion of the E flat. We're going to invert it around this axis from zero to six, which means that we're going to we're going to go we're going to take the clock face basically and flip it around like that. So three is going to become nine. Uh, let, let's start up here. Zero. If I flip the clock face, poof, stays right where it is. Zero remains zero. One becomes eleven. 2, which is D, becomes B flat. 3 becomes 9. 4, if I invert 4, it becomes 8. 5 becomes 7. And 6, just like 0, stays the same. You know, because if I just invert the clock face like this. 11 becomes 1. If we invert 10, B flat, it becomes 2. If we invert 9, it becomes 3. So it just goes straight across the clock like that. And you can think of it as just uh, an inversion around this axis. Um, and how far away each note is from C, then we go the opposite direction. So let's do a couple of these, and I think it will make more sense as we go. If we start here with 11, we're going to invert all of the, each one of these pitches. We're going to invert each one individually. Okay, so 11 over on our clock face is a half step below C, and it's going to become 1. It's going to become the note that's a half step above C. I'm going to write it as a D flat. Zero, remember zero just continues to be zero because look, it just stays right there where it is. Zero is always the same distance away from zero. Um, two is going to become ten, isn't it? So you notice that these pitches are starting to go down as, the, as these goes up. That's because we're taking the inversion. Okay, the next one we need is 3 here, which is going to become our 9. 6, remain 6, because 6 here is at the bottom of the clock face, and it stays in the same place. And 6 is the same distance from C, whether you go up or down. So if I say, here's my middle C, F sharp right there is a tritone above. F sharp over here is a tritone below. So when you invert 6, that's why it stays the same. And finally, we've got this uh, G sharp here. If you look at the clock face. A goes to 4, which is E. So th these here are the, invert the pitches that are inverted. Okay. Now we're not done because we need to put this in normal form. But now we've inverted each one of these pitches. So let's add the number so that's at least a little easier to... Um, C. So now we have each one of the pitches of this original set inverted around this 0, 6 axis. And then we have, so we have an inversion of each one of the pitches, but it's not a normal form, it's unordered. So it's a pitch class set, but it's unordered. It's not a normal form. So the next thing we need to do, to, to do is put it in normal form. So the first thing that I would want to do is put these pitches in ascending order. So now I have the inverted pitches, each one of these same pitches over here, but I've just rearranged them so they're in ascending order, starting with the lowest integer, 0, 1, 4, 6, 9, 10. I'm going to try to find normal form. So now I have written out this uh, set of pitches in every possible order, with each different note as the starting note. Um, starting with C, then starting with D flat, then starting with E, etc. And we're going to try to find the normal form. So we're just going to start checking the intervals. 
this first one, we're starting with the outside interval from C to B flat. That's 10 half steps, or you can call it a minor seventh. So that's the interval to beat. D flat to C, that's a 11 half steps. That's almost an octave. D flat to D flat is 12. D flat to C is 11. So this one is too big, So because our smallest one so far is minor seventh. So let's get rid of that one. Here we have E to D flat. If you think D flat, well, it's also a major sixth, or you can always do the number method. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Negative 3 mod 12 means you have to add 12 to it. Negative 3 plus 12 is 9. So it's a major sixth. It's smaller than a minor seventh. So major sixth, this one is now the smallest, has the smallest outside interval. So let's get rid of this one. Now we have to try to beat a major sixth. If you want to, when you're doing this, you might want to write it down if you don't think you can remember it in your head. Um, I might do that a lot of the time. Okay, uh, F sharp going to E. That's a minor seventh. I already know that's too big. A to F sharp. That's a major sixth also, isn't it? Six minus nine is negative three, which equals nine in mod 12. So we have this one, these two have a major sixth. Um, this here, major seventh, that's out, it's too big. So it's between these two, isn't it? The next thing that I'll do is I'll look at the next outside interval. So I need to compare the E to the C, which is a minor sixth. Compare that to the A to the E, which is a perfect fifth. Okay, the perfect fifth is smaller, so we're always looking for the most compact. So this one here is our winner. This is our normal form. So we can get rid of this over here. We've got normal form. And this one is the inversion of this pitch class set here. Okay? Okay. So the way that we can write that in our bracket notation is we've got, um, here's our normal form right here. And notice that there are brackets, commas between each of the inter integers, no spaces, no spaces at all, okay? And then here we use T, remember T for transposition, T0, I. So often when you use inversion, they say T0, I. Some, there are some other ways to do it, but T0, I. T0 means we haven't transposed it at all. We simply inverted the pitches, and here it is in normal form, T0, I. Um, you can have t one i so later on we're going to be combining transposition with inversion but right now we're just doing straight inversion so if i invert it th this pitch set normal form without any transposition this is the answer i get 9 10 0 1 4 6 written the same way t0i is the way we say that okay that's letter a